Guys, I got bad because I was playing with a, a guy that have an exploit uh, duplication account. This guy came on to me and was like, hey, can you help me? I usually watch your videos on YouTube, your TP Gamers Tree. I said, yes. So I want to play Cayo Perico. I don't care about the money. I just want to have fun. Can you play with me? So I, you know, I played with him. Who doesn't want money? Free money, right? <laughs> so after playing with the guy, I switched off my console. I want to make a content about the weekly update, which was, uh, you know, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. So I was, I was trying to make uh, a video about it. Then I turned on my PlayStation 5. Then I got this message that you're seeing on your screen right now saying that I've been banned from my account. So I'm like, what the fuck? What do I do? You know, what exactly happened? So I reached out. The first thing on my mind is I reached out to Rockstar. So in 12 hours from then, I got a message from them telling me that I need to give them the username of my, uh, the account, the, uh, you know, the rank that I mean. And since I know everything, I gave them the information, but most importantly, they collected five informations from me. And the five informations are the recent videos showing that I'm playing GTA Online and I'm playing it legitimately. So without any further ado, I'm a streamer, I'm a gamer. I know my stuff, I know myself, I'm a TP Gamer Tree. So I gave them the five uh, <laughs> account they, they really wanted. And guess what? Uh, in two hours from then, they reinstated the account, apologizing and telling me that uh, what I did was the fact that I played with an account that is being, you know, uh, going, uh, that is actually not following the rules and regulation or the guidelines of Rockstar. And they thought I'm actually exploiting, uh, exploiting an account or something like that. That's why I'm making this video, to be honest. I just want you guys to know that. It's not just those modded accounts that they're dealing with, but they're dealing with people like you two as well, a legitimate guy that plays with other people and you don't really know about them. They look into your stats and they look at how do you come up with this amount of money? How do you get this? How do you get that? And if there is no reasonable explanation, they will ban your account. Another instance was when I went to subreddit and I actually look into some, you know, I, I was curious. I, I want to know what I did wrong. So what I did was I went into subreddit and getting into subreddit, I was very shocked. And the thing is, to be clear, it does not appear that the console had been banned on last gen. That is what that guy said. It appears three PS, uh, Xbox One, I mean, PS4 and Xbox One, they are all good. The problem now is the current gen, which is the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. So now, how do you know if this guy is real or not? Because there are some people that bought an account and it's not even 700 and uh, 7,000 ranks or 7,000 plus rank. How do we know that these guys are not meant to be played with? My best advice is to stay away from GTA Online at the moment. Or you play solo. Whatever you do, just play solo. Okay, just play solo or you play with someone you've been playing with and you know that this guy is actually real and is actually legit. If not that, you're going to be in serious trouble. I'm able to provide all the proofs Rockstar need to reinstate my account. You may not because everybody's not a streamer. Everybody's not a, you know, YouTuber or whatever, well, whatever platform you're in. You may not be able to provide all the proof. Does that mean that all the ad work that you have, does that mean that the ad works are going to go just like that? It makes no sense. So this is a video just to let you know that this is actually what I'm going through and my own part about being bad. Of course, I'm good now. I have I have Xbox Series X, I have PlayStation 5, and I have GT Online on console too as well. So that means by the time they're done with the console, they are coming to the PC. And that is where I'm going to be really affected because there was a time I did these uh, glitches, like the coins and all that stuff, just to explain a video. But that is going to leave a mark on my account. So if they ban me on PC, I'm okay, you know, because... That is actually not my main account. But the main account that was actually banned was actually, you know, insane. Why Rockstar would pick that up 
and they don't look at the stats from like three, four months ago, the way I used to play my thing. So this is a video that shows you that you have to be very, very careful because anything can happen to your account if you don't know the rules and regulation at the moment. Stay off those guys that you notice that they are kind of a little bit suspicious. And this guy, you can these guys you can know them from their username. Their username are so unusual, like uh, the binary code, like, uh, you know, these and that triad and all that stuff. I know there are some real players that really have scary usernames and, you know, I know. And uh, excuse me, I'm a Muslim, so I'm fasting. So my dry lips and everything, don't know that of me anyway. So these guys have these weird names going on around them, like, you know, triad, like, you're going to die now. You're going to do this now. This information are on GTA Online forum, okay? These are the guys you need to really watch out for. So when you find them, you got to be very, very, very careful because they don't care about you. They don't care about themselves. They just don't have time to grind or to do anything. I'm banned and I'm unbanned. I'm okay now. My account is very secured. They asked me to sign in for the two FA authorization uh, factor and I did so just to put an extra security to my account and they educate me about the fact that I can be deduxed by this kind of a people which I've actually go through or you know happened to me many many times but in this situation guys you got to be very very careful that is what I just want to say I'm a loyal fan to GTA Online to Rockstar whatever game they're bringing in I'm not even you know, into any kind of a thing like that. I don't, I don't do any glitch, ban, or, you know, do card duplication and all that. I play the game as intended by the developer. But that does not mean that I'm not going to be banned if I actually associate myself with all these people. And, you know, just be very careful. That's all I can say. I'm TP Gamer. I'm your guy. And this is actually what happened to me. And I hope you've actually learned one or two from this video because it's more like a tutorial for you to know that you got to be very careful in whatever you're doing. So, peace, okay? Like, subscribe. That is if this video goes viral more than I expected. But if it doesn't, it's cool. Those that sees it, I really appreciate. Those that actually made a comment, a very good one about the band video that I made, it should be up there or there or I don't know but those that actually make a very helpful comment that actually helps other people to understand the band wave going on around I really appreciate those that actually subscribed to my channel and watch my videos as intended and they keep coming back and telling me that they really appreciate the fact that I, I put them through in a very educative and formal manner or something like that I really appreciate everybody. Okay, those that actually liked my recent videos, I really appreciate you guys too as well. So you know what it is. Let's keep growing the channel. There's more to offer, but this is just like a basic news to you guys. I made it this long because I really want views, to be honest. So you have a great day and I'll see you again. Bye-bye.